this episode, I'm going to walk you through how I designed this custom Lego part that can be used to prototype a functional prosthetic hand capable of grabbing various objects as demonstrated. The part I will be designing is a wearable forearm mount to which Lego parts can be attached. First, I start with a sketch using pen and markers. This does not have to be perfect. It really helps quickly iterate the idea of what I'm going to create. The sketching process serves two purposes. One is idea exploration and the other is for communication between team members. Even though using computer-aided design right away can give us exact dimensions, I find it quite challenging to design in 3D without first sketching in 2D to make sure that what I'm going to draft in three dimensions. Once I'm done with the sketch, the next step is drawing on the iPad. I believe that there is no right or wrong way to use an iPad for product or mechanical design, but I find it quite useful for drawing the side top and front views of the part. Having grid lines in the background often helps and I use both GoodNotes and Procreate apps for the sketch. After finishing the 2D sketches on the iPad, it's time to make a 3D model using CAD software. I use Fusion 360 because it's free for hobbyists and students and also it runs on Mac. While using the drafted front, side, and top views from the iPad, I also ensured that this part has exact dimensions matching other LEGO Technique parts, such as dimensions for hole patterns and thickness. This is the finalized part of the mount. It has multiple holes that LEGO parts can clamp into and space to attach the forearm wrap. The last part of the design process is the 3D printing. I first tried using an Ender 3 3D printer at home to quickly see if the part is feasible. The print took a total of 4 hours. Since the main function of this mount is to be used with other LEGO Technique parts, I attached some parts to see if we could build a grabber on the top. The key mechanical input would be wrist rotation, which translates into the opening and closing of the grabber. The test run seemed to work, so I used higher grade 3D printer, which is the Ultimaker S5. This printer has a breakaway support feature that makes the removal of support material easy and results in a clean surface. The finalized part looks like this. Let's see how we can use it. I used Velcro straps from a thumb splint device I purchased previously and this should fit to the forearm of Agent H, our user for this custom part like this. Our intention is to use wrist actuation to open and close the grabber. I took apart the grabber design in a previous episode and mounted into the top of custom design part. One thing I noticed is that rectangular technique pieces are usually spaced in odd numbers so the number of holes on the mount should also be odd. There is a quick demonstration of how it works using some objects on my desk. It's not perfect, but we achieved the design goal to use this as a custom part that users can attach the Lego part for different applications. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe to our channel, and we will come back with more fun design episodes and tutorials. Thank you.